Hello everybody and welcome back to Car Mechanic Simulator 2021. My name is Spartan Elite 43 and god that guy's going fast. Every time I see him go by, like he's speeding. Where's the cops? Anyway, speaking of speeding, uh, we have here a uh, what appears to be similar to a Subaru WRX STI or also kind of looks similar to a Mitsubishi Lancer. Uh, they, there's very similar characteristics to both. But that's not unusual in these types of games because they don't have the licensing. So let's uh, get this thing into the shop and see what's up, shall we? I'll be real honest, I don't remember exactly what we uh, are, are doing on this car. Uh, but let's look. So it's got loud exhaust, which should be pretty easy. Uh, general gearbox control and repair. Okay, so pull the gearbox and check the clutch and all of that. No problem. Transmission is not responsive. Okay. And gears keep slipping. So everything in this has something to do with gears. So, yeah, straight up, easy. I like it. Everything's accessible from under the car. So let's get this thing in here. I say that as I think about uh, the the starter. Uh -ha, there it is. Let's get rid of that. All right. So now that that's out of the way, we can get up underneath here. All right. So loud exhaust could be something along the lines of every one of these central pipes and mufflers and the cat is all just rusted out. So yeah, we're gonna have to do something about that. So let's go ahead and do that. Pull that. Kill him. Pull that. Kill him, there it is. Pull that. Pull that. Beautiful. Alright, so if we look. Loud exhaust. We have exhaust pipe, front exhaust section, and the middle muffler all ready to go. Okay. And then we need a gearbox and everything. Rear end looks fine. Alright. Let's uh, dig into this gearbox. Shall we? I think we're going to have to take this wheel off. Luckily, we've got all of the screwy. All of it. Okay. So now we should be able to take the drive axle out, I believe. Or can we just take it out as is? Can't remember. Makes sense. Alright, let's take the drive axle out. Now can we take it out? Um, do we have to take the other wheel off and take that drive axle out and take the entire, like, uh... Probably. That's probably the case. Alright, let's take this off. Alright. Now we should be able to take this off. Now we should be able to get to this. Or am I gonna have to take the drive shaft out too? Yeah, this is a this is an interesting one. Alright, so let's take the drive. A lot of rust on this car. Considering we're in the middle of the desert, I don't know where all this rust came from. But uh, we'll take it. Hello? You wanna go up here, please? 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 I ask nicely. Why am I back here? Oh god. I'm lost. I've lost it. Alright. Now we can pull it loose. Okay. 
So that's all one piece. Good God. I thought that the, uh, the transfer case would be, you know, different. Oh, yeah. I don't have to click on that. I just click. Oh, throw out bearing first. I will say this. You, your car is in rough shape, dude. Like, I know that you're, you're worried about the transmission, but if we fix this, you're going to have another issue. Like, the engine looks rough. The whole, whole car looks rough. That's definitely a bad flywheel. Too. All right. I mean, your crank looks good, at least from here. So there's that. All right, so if we go in here, uh, we've got the clutch pressure plate. We've got a gearbox that it needs. We need a uh, clutch pressure plate and release bearing. So yeah, this is pretty much everything. So uh, yeah, that's super easy. We just jump in here to our inventory. And we can throw... It actually didn't. It needed the clutch pressure plate, the clutch release bearing, the gearbox, exhaust, middle muffler. The catalytic converter was actually fine, even though that's hard to believe. Okay. I think that's it. Let's uh, go get... Go get her done. Open shopping list. Uh, open shopping list. That should have been removed. We need one of those. Remove that. Need one of those. Move. Need one of those. One of those. Alright, now we've got everything, we should be able to just put it all back together. The flywheel's supposedly good, so we don't even need to worry about it. By the time we get done upgrading that skill, we're going to be like a pit crew, man. Go ahead and put the cat back in. Mid pipe. And tail pipe. Alright. Now we go back up to this side. This one back in. Put the wheel back on. Beautiful. Get it off my wreck. Record time, baby. I'm not gonna lie. I kinda wanna test drive this thing. Just because Subaru. I gotta, gotta do it. Even though that is definitely not a Subaru engine. Just say it. Like, honestly, if you're gonna put the likeness of a Subaru WRX in here with the hood scoop and all, like, you should probably make it a boxer engine and, you know, give us something cool looking. Instead, you've got, you know, a half and half car that apparently has the uh, Mitsubishi engine in it. Or at least that's what I would assume. Which makes me less want to drive it, but at the same time... Uh, how do we how do we do the thing? Yeah, uh, let's do this here. Shopping list, assemble mode, inspections, interior parts. 
Whoopsie. That's the wrong button. Um, map. Ah, there we go. So if we go to the... Uh, let's go to the racetrack. That sounds like fun. Pick a car. The following part is missing. Oh yeah, we forgot to put the starter back in, guys. Probably important. You know, I'm no expert, clearly. But yeah, the starter definitely needs to be a thing. Wheels are not aligned. That should be fun. Nothing I can do about that. I don't have a way to align them currently. There we go. Oh yeah, it definitely got a pull to the right a little bit. Just saying. You're, you're gonna want to get that fixed. That'll tear your tires up. You love to blow off. Oh, hey, hey, hey. Turn, car. You're allowed to turn. A little bit tail happy, but she also pulls to the right. A little weird, not going to lie. Also, you guys get a little preview of a game that I'm going to be trying out on the channel here in the, well, probably about a week by the time I actually... Hello, turn. And yeah, this car does not like to go left at all. It's like the opposite of a NASCAR. Oh, and it's very twitchy when you're going to the right and you hit the brakes. Also, don't like the fact that it's in kilometers per hour instead of uh, miles per hour. Hopefully they... Whoa! Slow down! Don't hit the pits. We're good. Go, 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 go. This is, this is a 10 checkpoint uh, lap. Uh, quite, a, quite a big lap. Okay, I may have gotten on the brake a little too hard from this corner. I thought it was going to be worse. Clearly, it wasn't. Uh, we are out of boost. Come on. That turbo spooled up. Right. It's a dog in uh, fourth gear at about 4K. A little bit of feedback from the other. There we go. Hoot! Turn! She really doesn't like to turn. Also, the brakes tend to lock up. Go, 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 go! Finish strong! Beautiful! Alright, so a 209 for this thing. Not bad. Return to garage. Alright, so we tested it out. Transmission, everything that we just did seems to be working just fine. Uh, the engine's a little underpowered in my opinion. So, uh, definitely want to try to get that checked out. Let's go to settings real quick and see if there's something that we can do. Um, settings? It's in English. Display units, no. Imperial, thank you. Thank you. All right, so this one's done. Let's go ahead and kick it out of my shop. Finish order. And just like that, we're up to 11,000. And we are at... Uh, finish order with XP bonus. Very nice. All right. Let's uh, use some of this XP. I don't remember if we did this at the end of the last episode. Uh, apparently we did, because we only have one skill point, And we can't get anything useful at that. Alright, so uh, yeah, let's go ahead and... Uh... Oh yeah, we gotta pick up the... Pick up the phone! Alright, so what do you got for me? Hey, don't ask me what happened to my car. I wanna... Ooh, it's a Ford Focus ST. Alright. Is it the ST or is it the RS? I'm gonna go with RS. Oh my god. 
Uh, dude? Yeah, I'd say something happened to your car. Let's get this thing moved into the shop. I don't know how. Somebody got a spare tire they can throw on the front while we move it? Alright. So, uh, this thing's gonna... It's, it's a mess. It's an absolute mess. Uh, how bad is it? What, what do you want me to do here? Uh... Don't ask what happened to my car. I wanted to impress this one girl, and I think I might have crossed some big bushes, uh, holes, and stones, and I probably passed a cactus on the way, or perhaps even two. Please spare me the reprimand as to the purpose of this car. While you're at it, check the fluid levels with this amount of sand. I was, or with this amount of sand, I was quickly out of wiper fluid. Uh, it was worth it. Oh, it just, it, it reset on me. Come on, hurry up. Come on. I wanted to hear the end of that. It was just getting to the juicy part. It, it, he said it was worth it. Let's see it. It was worth it is all I will say. Let me know how, sounds like she liked it. There you go. So uh, yeah, uh, so we're missing some, uh, some stuff. Luckily it's all discovered except for what's not discovered. There are four parts not discovered. Um, all right. So yeah. I'm gonna guess that the parts that aren't discovered are probably underneath since he seemed to have gone off-roading. Oh yeah, that oil pan definitely looks like it took a beating. So we're going to have to change the oil, so might as well go ahead and drain it. Hey, that, that kind of thing happens when you're uh, out there Baja in your, your low, your, your lowered car. Like, street cars and Baja don't mix. There's a reason Baja cars have, like, more suspension travel. All right, so that's that. Whoopsie. Let's go ahead and pull this. This looks like it needs replaced. And then we've got the steering rack also looks like it may need replaced here. So we're gonna have to pull uh, the wheels and the axles out. Go ahead and do that now. My controller batteries are low. This is bad timing. Been playing World of Warships too much. Jump me over to this side. Take this axle out. Why did I take the axle out? Like, we're taking the steering off. You don't need to take the axle out. <laughs> I'm a dummy. It's all right. Not that big a deal. All right, now did we find everything? Uh, we've got the steering rack for sure. The oil pan wasn't one of them. Uh, yeah, the oil pan was one. So we've got two more parts that we haven't discovered yet. I'm gonna guess it's a bushing. Uh, you know, when you go off-roading your, your street car, the bushings take a bit of a beating. God, I just can't get a good look at it. Okay, it's fine. Um, I'll be honest, that looks to be a problem there with the the uh, alternator. You know, I'm no expert. That alternator definitely appears to be bad, so that might be one of the uh, unknowns. All right, let's drop this thing down. Let's take in, get over here, alternate tools, drain tool, suck out all the coolant so we don't spill any and lose money, been there, done that. Okay, let's take the fan off first. No? Okay. 
Oh, we had the uh, drain tool active. I was like, what? I don't remember having to. Okay, so maybe we do have to take the fan off first. Yep. All right. That's another thing they changed. All right, let's uh, jump in here. Uh, probably gonna have to take this idler roller out first. Take the belt off. Which might, it looks to be bad too. Which would make sense if the alternator went bad and locked up, it could have ruined the belt. Alright, looks like we found everything. The belt was bad. So, uh, yeah, there you go. So, did we get everything? I think we did. Just double check. These wheels look fine. Alright. Um, so we definitely need an alternator. We need a serpentine belt. We need the radiator. We need the steering rack. Alright, these are... shopping list. Okay, so we need to delete that. We need two rims. The rim GW500. And the tires, I would imagine. I mean, it doesn't say to replace the tires. So maybe we just de dismount. Oh, God, where is it? It's over here now. Okay. Let's uh, go ahead and throw these in here, separate parts. Remove. Alright, now we should be able to go in here. The tire is fine, but we're going to have to add that anyway. And that is a 235-35-19. Okay, and this is a 19-inch uh, with zero offset. So we got to remember that. Okay. So let's go ahead and take care of the, uh, the mechanical side of things. Main shop, open shopping list, alternator, that'll be in the electric section. I did the thing again. Serpentine belt, grab that. Radiator, grab that. Steering rack. Front exhaust section. Oil pan. That'll be in a different store. This will likely also be in a different store, but we'll check anyway. Okay, so let's go back. So now we'll go to the tire shop, uh, open shopping list. Do you get the rims here? Nope, not the rims, but you can get the tires here. And uh, it is a 235-35 R19. So we need one of these. It's a 19 inch wheel. It's a 235, and 35 is the profile. Okay, so we can get rid of that. Uh, now we need to go back, go to rims. I don't know where the, there's the rim shop right there. Go in here, grab one of these, two of these. Okay, and we can remove that. And go to the electronics. Grab the alternator. Beautiful. All right. Now let's throw all this stuff back in here, shall we? Oh, 
part mount. Put the uh, axle back in before I forget, because it never needed to actually come off. Steering rack. Oh yeah, we gotta put that stuff together. Uh, let's go ahead and put the uh, exhaust pipe in. Move over here. Put this back in. Tie rod. Outer tie rod. Beautiful. Alright. Uh, that was everything that was under the car, right? So we can drop it back down. And do the things that we have on the top of the car. So, first of all, let's go ahead and put the alternator in. Then we can put the belt back on. Put the idler pulley back in. And then we put the radiator in. Put the fans in. Um. All right, so now we're getting to a spot where, let's just double check the car. The oil pan, oh, I forgot the oil pan, dadgummit. I knew there was something I was forgetting. I knew I was forgetting something, guys. Why didn't you tell me? Somebody was screaming it at me. Spartan, the oil pan! You forgot the oil pan! Can you imagine if I would have dumped oil in the top of it? That would have been hilarious. Alright. Now we can do the things. So, part mount. If we zoom out, you can see that there's an intercooler here. So let's go ahead and put that on our shopping list. And go grab that. Uh, let's go back. That should be probably in here. Beautiful. Hello? Am I... am I not... Surely that ain't something that has to go on, like, with it in the air. Like, it straight up wouldn't let me do anything with it. There it goes. Alright, intercooler in. Front mount intercoolers, while they are very good for the uh, cold air coming in, uh, also very susceptible to being damaged. Alright, what else do we need to put on this thing? Uh, the rims and tires, which we have, we can go ahead, I guess we can mount them real quick. I always forget, this new shop is driving me nuts, I don't know where anything is. Okay, so, install. You mean I don't have the necessary part? I was fairly confident that we changed the size of those rims. Am I wrong? Clearly I'm wrong. Which is a shame, because that cost me money. That was a dumb mistake. Stop looking at things. You need the t you need the tablet again. Um, dang it, man! That was a stupid mistake. All right, tablet, back, rims, open shopping list. We can get rid of that. Open this. We need two of those that are size 19, with an ET of zero. All right. Now we can install.
Oh yeah, I forgot this was... Oh yeah, that's nice. Alright. So now we should be able to put these on. Ah! Be right back, folks. Forgot about that. All right, tax swap complete. Same thing on this side. And you know we're test driving this thing. This is gonna be quick, hopefully. Oh, your fender needs to be Replaced. Yeah, okay, let's go ahead and pull that off. That's definitely no good. And you're completely missing the, the right fender. So let's go to a symbol mode. And then we can put that in there. That in there. We need the front bumper. The left headlight. Right headlight. It looks like fog lights, so we'll just try to see if the fog lights are a thing. If not, we'll have three bumpers. Okay. How's the hood look? I can't see. It's completely caked in mud. Alright. So we've gotten all of the uh, big things done. Now we just need the body parts. So we've got... and pull that off apparently we got left side and right side mirrors that we need we need uh, left and right fenders we need bumpers fog lights all the things all right let's go uh, buy things let's go back body shop open shopping list we can remove that. Right fender. Okay. One of those. Remove. Right side mirror. Front bumper. Apparently the fog lights come with the bumper. Good to know. Right headlight. Left headlight. Left side mirror. All right, put it all back together. Mirror. Fender. Wait, what? Did we not grab that? Delete. Pull that back off. Now put the new fender on. New bumper.
Apparently we need a number plate. Oh wait. Are we supposed to like... Yeah. So this is supposed to be... Eight. One. Eight one G eight O Y. Eight one G eight O Y. And we just throw a standard number plate on there because I can't be bothered. Alright, so now we gotta fill up all the things, right? So let's go ahead and fill up the washer fluid. Coolant. Also, in case you didn't know, uh, if you ever have an issue where you have to replace your coolant, uh, whether it was a radiator or whatever, you have to burp the system. You you gotta bleed it. Like you you can't just put put the fluid in the reservoir and let it go. Uh, just as a heads up to those of you who may not know that. Uh, power steering looks good. Uh, how we looking? Body parts. The hood is needing replaced and the windshield needs replaced. Okay, we can do that real quick. Let's go ahead and pull that off. Pull that out. And then, uh... Go back to the body shop. Delete that. Windshield. Hood. Beautiful. This car should be ready to go. Super quick, super easy. I like it. Uh, did we put oil back in? I don't think we did. Just in case. I'm fairly confident we did not. Okay, your dipstick's down here. Yep, we're good. Beautiful. Now, get off my lift. Go to maps. Let's go to racetrack. So the last, the lap record is 209. We can beat that, surely. Surely this car can beat that. Wheels are not aligned. Nothing I can do about that, sunshine. It'll be okay. All right, you guys ready? Ford Focus RS. Let's go. Hugs the corners a lot better than the last car. Actually, I didn't look to see if this was all-wheel drive. If it's all-wheel drive, it's the RS. If it's front-wheel drive only, it's the ST. I guess. Oh boy. 
may have overcooked it. It's all right. We good. There's that turbo lag coming in on this four cylinder, struggling to uh, get that big turbo spooled up. We got her back. We're back in the torque zone. Let's go. Going 100 miles an hour. I feel like this car would be faster than this. This is definitely not an RS. I have, I have just ruined this man's car. But can we still beat the time? Thank God that you can't hurt the car while you're in testing or racing. Like, I thought for sure we just ruined this car. That would have bankrupted me right there. One stupid mistake. Downshift. Okay, it's pulling to the left slightly. Just slightly. Has nothing to do with me crashing, by the way. Sure. I feel like this thing is faster. Especially through the borders. And we wrecked and we're still gonna beat the time. Like that's that's insane. Let's go for a clean lap this time, guys. Never mind. I lied. Let's return to garage. That was fun. Uh, may have accidentally crashed his car twice. Twice. You know. Once into a jersey barrier, which I have no experience with that at all. Uh, and then, oh god. Okay, there is a windshield there. I thought the windshield busted. I was like, no! Okay, we're good. So, uh, yeah, let's give this man his car back. I'm sure he's happy. How many horsepower? 279. Yeah, this is definitely not the RS. This must be the ST. Uh, everything's fixed. Yep. Alright. 11,000 credits payout. Holy mackerel. With a... Yeah, this is this is a good... This is a good... That takes us up to 16,000 credits. Woohoo! Uh, we're still only level 9, though. So, we have no new things there. Can we get another story mission in? Let's do it. What do we got next? Ooh. Ooh, we got an R32? Or is that an R30? I'm, my, my knowledge on Skylines is severely limited. Is this R32 or R34? I think this would be a 34. Looks newer. Not like the R35 or the Godzilla, but like the newer version of the R... Yeah, I think this is R34. Somebody's going to have to let me know. But, uh, yeah, this thing has, uh, I hope we have enough credits for this. <laughs> it's gonna need some work. Let's put her in the garage. Oof. Alright. Let's get it up on the thing. And see what the owner wants us to do with it. I'm betting he wants everything. All right. Hi, it's me, Johnny Johnson. Remember, I visited you soon after you opened up the repair shop. I see the business is good. I hope I can take partial credit for it. I was very satisfied with how quickly you work, and I thought you could use some advertising, okay? Going back to business, I have a terrible case here for you today. I saw that. I snapped it up cheap from some kid. He wasn't really aware what he was driving and how much it was worth. But his lack of interest in the car is pretty obvious. Please take care of the bodywork and the interior. This car definitely needs it. While you're at it, check the clutch and suspension elements. I have doubts about them. Uh, do what you have to do, but don't go overboard. It's supposed to work and look acceptable, but I don't want to go broke. I still want to make some money from it. I hope we're clear on that. See you. All right. So... The body parts, obviously, uh, changing the oil, changing all the coolant or all of the fluids, and then a whole bunch of other things. So, well, I can see a few things that need to be sw or changed right now, like the throttle body. Um, obviously, is bad.
intake. Is this separate? Hmm. Oh, fuel rail. Okay. Okay. So that's that. Uh, definitely gonna have to change this out, I would assume. Uh, is this... this is separate. Okay, pull out these. Looks like a couple potential plugs. Good old inline six cylinder, man. Gotta love it. I didn't realize that the Skylines had inline six cylinders. I thought they had V6s. I. Am I wrong? I know the Super had in inline four cylinder, or er, inline six cylinders. I just find it funny that they made this in the game as like a knockoff Nissan Skyline and then they still ended up getting Nissan Skyline uh, through licensing with Nissan. <laughs> it's like, hey, we, we stole your design for a car, uh, but we're also wanting to do business with you. You guys think you could help us with that? Uh, yeah, we've got a bad cam. There's probably people yelling at me for not, like, inspecting the car, like, doing the diagnostics and stuff, because you get XP for that. And that is a very valid thing. Uh, but most of the time, I don't really need to. I, I just go over the car. You can see, obviously, what's wrong with it, usually. So, if that bugs you, let me know down in the comments below. We'll, we'll stick to doing all the diagnostics and stuff. All right, let's go over here. Uh, you seem to be missing a cam cover. That could be a problem. Also seem to need a new fan. No expert, but seems to be a thing. Um, tensioner. Okay. Belt. Oh, they're going to make me take this off, ain't they? Which means I have to take the crank pulley off. And that's still not enough. I'm guessing this is why. Alright. Now this is the water pump, so do not take the water pump off. Uh, let's get this. This cam gear off, and we can pull the cam. Uh, also, definitely have a power steering pump problem. Uh, let's look at your power steering fluid. You definitely have power steering fluid, so I'm gonna have to drain that. Now we should be able to pull the uh, power steering pump. All right. So, still got a few parts that we haven't discovered. And I'm a little worried. I mean, we got to change the oil anyway. So we might as well lift it up, pull the oil pan off, see what we can find. If there's issues in the oil pan or issues at the bottom, like, we'll know. So, uh, okay, move equipment, lifter A, use the equipment, move, return. All right, 
Let's rip this oil pan off this thing, shall we? Okay, let's take a look under here. Don't see anything jumping out at me. So that's good news for him. The engine at least looks healthy. From down here, anyway. Good. Alright. Uh, what else could we have? Uh, bushings, probably. Uh, they love to throw bushings at us. Honestly, the bushings all look pretty good. It's got a stuck bolt in it, but the bushing's good. Yes, I don't think that's it. Um, just visually checking over everything right now. Everything looks pretty, pretty decent. I guess we could just go ahead and pull this off. So there are one, two, three, four, five parts not discovered. Ooh, fuel tank maybe? Nope, not the fuel tank. Okay, we got a bad axle here. So let's go ahead and pull this wheel off. to have a bad bearing as well. Everything else looks okay. Uh, that doesn't look too bad, I don't think. It's hard to see, like, the camera isn't quite free-floating enough for me. That could be a bad cap, but we'll see. Another bad axle. Go ahead and pull that. Then we'll open all the crates and stuff after we finish this. Another bad bearing. Alright. What else we got? One part that we have not discovered. That's eh, my luck. All right, so if it's not here, Oh, it's the, it's the thing. We gotta put... Uh, the cam, or yeah, the... Alright, so let's go ahead and put that, 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 that. Okay. I think that's the body work. Go ahead and do the body first.
put on. Bumper in. Go ahead and put that on. Fender. Oh, we've actually got to do the, the whole thing. Okay. I wonder if this is going to cost us, like, um, I think we need a welder to do these, like, the actual body itself. Because all of this, I think, needs repaired. Um, and by I think, I mean it's, it's obvious it needs repaired. Uh, let's see what we can do here. How much money do we have? How much is the welder? Welder's 5000 We do have the money for it. Let's go ahead and get the welder. I think we need it. I think it's time, folks. Now, where is the welder in this place? Right here it is. All right. Move equipment to lift A. And use equipment. Ouch! 500 bucks for us to fix the body, huh? Alright. Sure. But you can see that clears up all the rust and everything. So we're good there. Go ahead and pull that. Clearly that needs replaced. We're going to go ahead and replace that door anyway. And now with that, we need to go shopping. So let's go ahead and grab another one of those. Um, I don't know why I did that. I need to go to the body shop again. Open. Oh, wait, no. I am the worst at this. Okay, there we go. Delete. One of those. One of those.
Okay, that's all the body panels, so we'll go ahead and slap them on real quick. Beautiful. Oh, you seem to be... Yeah, this is going to be fun. I think is the word I'm looking for. Uh, how much is it... I have 3,000 credits left. Oh my god. Okay. Um... Take a look in here. See anything right off. Have we found everything? No, there's still one part that hasn't been discovered. Just thinking. Let's go ahead and do some inspection, I guess. Okay, same thing on this side. Just to see if I miss something easy. Back to normal mode. I'm going to check the transmission, uh, the clutch and everything, see if it's something in there. Uh, starter. looks pretty good. We'll just check it anyway. Yeah, that all looked pretty good. I'm thinking the last part that's missing is that freaking like timing cover. So I might just be wasting time here. Put those back together. Should be able to go into the tablet now. Uh, 
back, back, over here. Grab two of these. Two of these. One of these. One of these. One of those. Not gonna lie, getting a little worried about the... Lack of credits. Alright, um... Oh yeah. Go ahead and do these. Luckily, it's all cheap. That wasn't cheap. Ignition coil is expensive. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and start with the rear end. Put the bearing in. Bearing in. Axle. Wheel. Okay. That was all that was underneath the car, right? No, uh, oil filter. Okay. Cam in. Now we do have some stuff that we can sell, but as we know, we don't get much out of selling stuff. So there's that.
There should be a cover over this. Like, I'm fairly confident they wouldn't leave the top of the cam gears just sitting out like that. Maybe I'm wrong. But, uh, doesn't seem like it would be a good idea. What am I missing that I can't put the, like, cover back on? Exactly. Oh, there's another one right there. I was like, I don't get it. Like, there should be a... There we go. There's the top cover. And that covers the cam gears, so that makes sense. Alright. Intake. Throttle body. check our list still one thing that I haven't discovered it's always one thing okay uh, fright run or front right fender needs to be replaced and right tail light rear bumper needs to be Did we not Please have enough. Please. Um. That came in handy. Open next case. That also came in handy. Barn find, nice. That'll come in handy if we ever get money. Let's go with this one. And this one. Got a bonus case. Bonus case. We're good at finding bonus cases. Keep it rolling. Ah. Still getting that that money though. That helped a lot actually. Um Don't know what happened to our things, but All right. God, I hope we have enough for that. Front right fender needs to be replaced. Rear bumper, right tail light. Okay. Just double checking before I go do this. Shoot. Um. Rear bumper.
Okay. I know we don't have enough, but how much is it to unlock the car wash? Car wash, 1,750 credits. We'll see where we're at when we get this thing done. Um, but for now... We've got to find one thing that we missed. Let's go ahead and fill up the fluids. Now, I'm pretty sure it said that we have to swap, like, the fluids, right? Uh, change, the, yeah, change coolant, change power steering, so we gotta drain all of these. So let's go ahead, change this over to drain. We'll go ahead and do that. Drain. Um. Oh, there's none in it to begin with. Nice. Okay. All right. Now we should be able to just fill it back up. Is it just me? Or does this brake servo look bad? Just saying. Like, it kind of looks sus. Alright. Pull that fluid back out. I know, I just wasted. No. Pull this. Where's the stuff ending up? Oh, we're on the wrong page, that's why. I was losing my freaking mind. Now the brake servo says it's at 66%. So that's not it. Alright. Fill this. Ah, oh, crap. Can you can you put my camera over there, please? Thank you. This thing now.
And it looks like we got everything. Nope, we're still missing a part. Missing one thing. Uh... Put it down, take it for a test drive. It should be it should be operational. Actually, before we do that. Just run diagnostic. Engine needs to be complete. Um what's missing? Hello? Where's the fuel filter? Oh, it's right there. Uh, oh, the fuel rail. I was like, what's what's missing? Okay, that... That could be a thing. Okay. Now let's try that again. Engine can't be started. Now why would... Oh! Hey guys, I found the problem. Got a bad battery. Uh, don't we have a battery charger? I think we do. Um, didn't we buy a battery charger? Okay, where is the battery charger then? Hey guys, I think I found it. And that takes a bit. I think that was the last thing. All right, that's what I like to see. And you know what? We have enough to get the uh, car wash. Because this is ready to go. So let's do that. Let's go ahead and buy the car wash. Do, 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 do. Car wash, 1715 credits. Uh, so now, if we move this to car wash. I like that we teleport with it, too. That that comes in real handy. All right, so now we've got some pretty cool things here. Uh, I don't know what's going to happen. Are you sure you want to detail the interior? Absolutely. Oh, okay. So it is just to push a button, and it, it, it does the thing. But that's pretty cool. And then, uh, okay, that's the interior. What about the, oh, okay. Over here, the pressure washer. Oh, I was hoping we'd get to, like, do it ourselves, but that that's fine. I get it. Look at this thing. Look at this thing. Looking pretty slick. All right. Uh, let's go ahead and I believe we're ready. I mean, I get paid 20,000 credits for this. That's, that's awesome. Uh, but before we do that, we are definitely testing this thing out. Let's go to the map. You guys know the deal. Racetrack. Oh, we've unlocked the junkyard, too. We're going to have to check that out. Maybe next episode. Pick car. It's not aligned, but there's not a whole lot I can do about that. I don't have the uh, the way to align it yet. We're, we're getting there. We've unlocked a lot of things this episode. Pulling pretty hard to the left.
Come on, Skyline. It's a little twitchy. And the suspension is not the greatest. Not, not as stiff as it should be. It's got a lot of body roll. But we did it on a budget. Oh, we overcooked it. We overcooked it. I gotta quit crashing people's cars. I'll, I'll get the hang of this track eventually. When I do, I will still crash everybody's cars. Alright, so after this straight stretch, there's a really hard corner to the right that uh, also launches you into the air and kills you. Get a, little, get a little swing of the rear end in there. May have taken that a little too, too gingerly. But we're still going for it. This is definitely not a fast car. I think it needs twin turbo. Or at least one big turbo. It's forged pistons. Billy crank. Probably wouldn't be very good on the track if it, if it had 30 pounds of boost. Like, let's be real. The turbo lag would be ridiculous. There you have it. The slowest car we've had around the track. Return to the garage. We'll finish her up. And that'll be this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed. It was an absolute blast as always. Uh, this is kind of my relax game. So, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and call it. Um, send it to the dude. 20,000 credits with a 7,600 credit bonus with 2,100 credit tasks bonus. I like it. And just like that, we are over 20,000 credits, which is pretty awesome. Uh, so it looks like this is where the uh, car wash is, so we still don't know what this is. Interesting. Maybe this is where the test track is? Or the, uh, what do you call it? The, uh, I don't know. You usually, or you used to take in, uh, I wonder if you can go in this back door. I think I was clicking the wrong button before. Let's try it. You can! You can totally go in the back door. That's sick. I like it. Uh, but yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Let's let's look and see what we got on the menu for the next episode, shall we? We've got a BMW. Nice. Uh, it's got a lot of things. So we'll, we'll see it. Spray it the factory color. See, we don't have the paint booth yet. So we're not going to be able to do this mission. Uh, we're going to have to start actually flipping cars in the next episode. Hopefully you guys are ready. I know this stuff is here. Uh, we've got some bonus credits here. Brake system needs fixing and uh, loud exhaust. Poor brake, loud exhaust, other tests, knocking sound coming from the suspension. Like I feel like this would probably be the best. So let's go ahead and put that on the schedule for the next episode. Ooh. Ooh, lime green. Not bad. All right. So with that, we're going to go ahead and call it an episode. I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you did, make sure you punch the like button for me. Leave a comment below. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and as always, I will see you in the next video.